in the nick of time, I am hungry. Welcome back, everyone. It's me, Jack, live from the Monkey House, coming to you straight out of the Monkey House test kitchens, where right now I am dressed like a chef, but I won't be doing any cooking. No, I'm just more of a ceremonial host of our game, Let's Get Cooking. Now, if you've never played this game before, this is a three-part game. It starts with an ingredient, and in just a moment, we're going to find out the featured ingredient for the hour. Next, after that, we will meet three pint-sized celebrity chefs who are each going to take a stab at that ingredient to make what they believe to be a perfect recipe. And then finally, our flavor expert is going to join us in the final round to tell us what they think of each one and which one's their favorite. So we gotta get started. Let's find out our featured ingredient. Joining us from Illinois, say hello, we monkey knots, to Hans! Hans, how are you? Good. Great. Welcome to the Monkey House, and thank you for your help. Hans, do you like to cook? Yes. You do? Okay. Oh, oh, say that again, Hans. I just talked over you. I love cooking with my mom. Oh, that's so great. That's something you and your mom share with each other. And what kinds of foods do you and your mom like cooking with each other? Like... Like quesadillas and stuff. Ah, oh, quesadillas, sure. That's great. Um, are you uh, more of a quesadilla in the microwave kind of person? Or do you like quesadillas cooked on the stove? What do you prefer? Um, quesadillas on the stove. On the stove, okay. Yeah, um, I, uh, we have two very uh, uh, clear trains of thought on that one here at the Monkey House, too. Um, my uh, family uh, is split right down the middle. Half of us like him in the microwave, half of us like him on the stove. So nice to hear yeah. your instinct there. All right, Hans, it's time to find out your ingredient of the hour. What ingredient are we going to be working with? Mango. Audience, it's mango! This is very exciting! Jack and Ava were about to bring broccoli into this round, but you decided mango would be a great choice. Why do you like the idea of mango, Hans? I don't know. I just love mangoes. You love it. Um, okay, uh, do you eat mango a lot? Is that like an everyday kind of fruit for you? Yeah. Oh, it is? Wow. Uh, do you get like frozen mango, like in the, the, the freezer section of your grocery store? Or are you eating fresh mangoes, Hans? Wow, I'm really impressed. Uh, mangoes are a lot of work. The the amount of effort to the amount of fruit that you get out of a mango, it's it's a very skewed ratio. A lot of work for fresh mangoes, so I'm really impressed that you're going for it. Uh, do you cut those mangoes up, or does someone else cut them up for you? Mom helps me cut them. Mom helps. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of work. Well, uh, to all of our uh, recipe creators, recipe wranglers, I guess I should call you, just be forewarned. These mangoes, they are tricky to work with, and it's like every little chunk of mango you get out of one of these fruits, it's like finding buried treasure. It's so much work. Hans, thank you for your solicitation, or your submission, I mean. Audience, give it up for Hans in Illinois. The ingredient is mango. Delicious fruit, and there are so many things you can do with it. You can put it on another dessert item. You can put it on a savory item. You can, I don't know, you can just put it all over your face. It probably is a good moisturizer. I don't know. Fill a bathtub full of mango and jump into it? Sure! If you got the time to peel that many mangoes, who am I to stop you? When we come back, we need three recipes now that feature mango as the featured ingredient. Are your wheels spinning there in your brain? Well, stop those wheels spinning and use the effort to call us at 1-866-328-2345. That's 1-866-328-2345. We got a whole pile of mango here, and we need some creative chefs to make something out of it.